morning everybody welcome back it's another create with me um, today I thought I'd share how I created this um, little addition for our journals <clears throat> let me just grab my journal that I'm working on here I'll try not to reveal too much so this is you guys know I went mad and purchased a thousand of these window envelopes <laughs> so I'm racking my brain on how to use these um, and I've come up with this I love it um, so what it is I've found, I'll show you within the tutorial but this is going to fit within um, the journal you will glue this down so that this will flip up and then we've got a little pocket here and then this will come down and within here we will have another journal card and all of the elements in this are from my porch prints I'll put the link below to um, Stephanie's shop and let's just get started guys and I'll show you how to make this it's super easy because you know me I like quick and easy projects so on this one I have the opening on the left side I'm going to just make it on the right side this time no reason other than um, just to be different so go ahead and seal your envelope closed and you can either cut it on the right or the left it's up to you I'm just choosing to do this one uh, with the right side opening um, see if I can let you guys see. Now what you're going to do is just take the very edge of that envelope off and then that opens that up for you so that you've got your pocket. Okay? The next thing I do is I've just run a stitch along and the only reason I did that you don't have to do it on this upper part but I like to reinforce that so I just run a stitch along the back now don't close your opening make sure that you know you if you need to take a pencil and draw um, as a little reminder and where you want to um, because you get on that machine if you're like me I'm, ooh, I go and next thing I know I've closed it up <laughs> so um, so yeah I'm just gonna stitch along there and then run it down here and then I will come back on this front just because I like the look of it I'll come back and stitch that all the way around so I will okay guys so that's how it looks now that I've run it through the machine and as you can see this way we can just glue this down and then it'll, it'll flip open um, if this bothers you seeing this you can always cover it with some paper I personally and not worried about it. <laughs> okay, so I want to first make myself a little tag here. Um, so I've got this paper left over and I'm just going to make a little collaged uh, tag here. Let's take a bit of that off. This is just uh, see that uh, stamp abilities. And just sometimes I just put a little bit of this as a little background, and then I can ink it up afterwards. I'll go ahead and get these edges done lightly. So yeah, I had a chance to catch up on a few um, videos this weekend on YouTube, and wow, I've seen some awesome journals coming out. Um, 
so it's really got me inspired to um, to maybe you know venture out and try a few more things. I um, I like to keep trying new ideas. with the journal making because as you know it just uh, I get really bored I like to keep trying different things and wow I've seen some great um, uh, new artists that are new to me um, this weekend okay so let me get a bit of uh, seam binding here I might come back and, and put um, a focal point on this. Mm, should I? Actually, I will. Um, I know a lot of people leave them like that, but I kind of like to have something. So I'm going to use this, this little image here. And I'll just put a little bit of cheesecloth behind that as well. I love this cheesecloth. I purchased this um, a while back and it's the unbleached so it's nice it's not that really harsh white that you um, when I first started I picked it up from some cheesecloth from Walmart and it was white so stark white um, but this is nice because it's the unbleached I think it's a food um, food grade because I think I don't know. What am I? Ta I'm talking rubbish. I don't know anything about it. Um, I wouldn't have thought the bleach would be particularly good if you're working with it for food. But what do I know? <laughs> I'm going to end up saying something I know nothing about. <laughs> so I'll stop myself right there. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's just finished that out. I think a little bit more rather than just leaving it plain. So, let me show you how that, so that just fits in, and then you'll see, I always like seeing the edges of the tags, I think they look nice that way. So all we got to do now is just create a little um, journal card inside that, so let me do that. Three and three quarter by five and a quarter. Alright, so what I did here, guys, this is uh, a background paper that you get from my porch prints with the um, the envelope clutch bag. And so I printed it onto uh, cardstock. That way I can make a journal card out of it. So let me just trim this down. Oh gosh, what did I say? Five and a... See, if I if I don't do it right then, I'm going to actually go to five and a half. I think I can squeeze five and a half into that. Make sure. So before you embellish this, I always just make sure. I can't tell you the number of times that I've embellished it and then come back and it's like, uh-oh, that doesn't fit. Okay, so that's fine. Um, da -da -da -da. i tell you what I'm going to do on this one is put a bit of lace as a tab because I like that. I like to have a little tab. In fact, I might put it down here because when this is in, I don't want to cover up my little tag. 
So I think when that's in there, I'm going to make a little tab about here with a lace. Yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so let me go ahead and start inking this. So this is just going to be a journal card that sits inside um, and will peek through, which is gorgeous. Let's make a little focal point for this. I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to put... Actually, I'll put this B. That's, I've been wanting to use that. That's such a pretty image. Sorry, I'll, I keep going out of frame. Uh, this is such a beautiful image. I'm, I'm going to definitely be using the elements from this kit. I've been thinking it's about time for me to do another B journal because I've got a lot of different components. So I'm going to try my best to get around to doing that before too long. Yeah, I'm just going to put that there because that way it'll show through. <coughs> I'm just going to ink the edges a little bit. I'm not going to stitch this this time just because it's just a personal personal preference. I, I think on my journal cards I'm not crazy about the stitching showing through. If I back it with um, tea dyed paper, I'm I like it a lot better, but when I've print these onto the cream cardstock, I don't think it's necessary to come back and cover them. I think just, you know, it's just personal preference. I just think it's kind of overkill because it's it's an already, I do mine on like a winter white paper so it's not stark white and then you can see I just lightly distressed around it. But yeah, I've gotten to where I'm not crazy. I don't really like seeing those stitching through when you're going to be journaling. I do it sometimes, but I'm not going to on this one. So if this is in here, see, that's going to be, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. So let me just put a little bit of lace, and I'll stitch that um, there, and then we'll start decorating the, the front of this. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just made a little tab there, so that's going to go inside. And then we're just going to decorate the front of this and we will be done. Oh, I do like that. Okay, so let me get those out. Go ahead and ink around this a bit. And you can even do some journaling when this is inside the, um, when it's glued down, you can do some journaling up here as well. I, I do love working with the envelopes now, um, the CD cases, all of that. I don't know, it just adds a lot of character, I think, uh, to the journals. It's probably one of my favorite elements um, with it now. Okay, so what I did here, and I'm just going to kind of copy this one. This is one of the little journal cards you get and I just love that image. It's such a beautiful shade of uh, lilac that she's used on this. It's like a dusty, dusty lilac and I love that. So I'm just gonna trim around And then all I did was just, I kind of tore it just under the wording there. And a little bit of ink around the edges.
I want this um, stitching to show, so I've just dropped that down slightly. And the same at the bottom, because I want that to show. I'm just going to have that cover just a little bit of the window, because I kind of like that. I think it looks nice if you do it that way. Okay, so what did I do then? I put another little bit of cheesecloth. Do, do, do. Another little image. I'm going to see. I'm going to need to print these, some more of these out because I'm getting through these. Okay, I'm going to have to use a slightly different one this time. Yeah, I, I'm crazy about this kit. I can see I'm going to be using this in a lot because this is totally me. It's vintage, it's got the soft colors, and I love lavender. So yeah, I'm just going to ink around that a bit. A little bit of glue here to hold the cheesecloth, and then a bit of glue on the back here. And we're almost done, guys. That's how quick this is. Okay, last little thing is I'll let that dry really well. I've got some. My friend just sent me some offcuts from wedding gowns that she alters, and I just love this. So I thought, how pretty. Um, just to put a little piece of that there. And then I've got one of these tiny tags. Let me stamp that. Okay, let me look around the edges of this a little bit more. Oh, I need a bulb pen. It's that little bulb pen if you're new. A lot of people ask me that. Uh, and then I'm going to glue that with some Fabri-Tac. Actually, let me see. I might snip that down. It's, a, it's covering that a little bit more than I want. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I like that. I'm just going to put... Tell you what, before I glue that, let me get that pin in. Just put a little dollop of the Fabri-Tac, because the other glue, in case you're wondering, probably wouldn't hold it. The cheap glue isn't great for fabric, so... So all of that I'll leave to let dry, but just so you guys can see. We've got our tag. Okay. And that 
that's in the back. And then this is our journal card. How sweet is that? So there you go, guys. That's our Create With Me Today project. I hope you guys get a chance to try it. And yeah, I'd love to see what you guys make if you um, if you give this a go. Just let me know. I'd love to see it. And uh, I will be back here very soon. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Take care. Bye.